Welcome to another installment of Lebanon Sports Buzz.com presents uh, tonight with Maddie Good. Maddie is a senior forward on the Elko, um, yeah, Elko, Palmyra girls soccer team. Uh, and Palmyra just defeated uh, Greencastle Lions from 3 to 1, uh, second round of districts. Um, I thought you played pretty good, Maddie. Uh, you you and, and, and the team in general, but just, just your, your impressions of the, of the game. Yeah, I mean, I think it's important for us to get the first goal because we don't have a lot of depth and we kind of need to get the momentum going early and keep our heads up and then kind of just hold other teams off. And so when we got the first goal, it kind of gave us that motivation to go through the rest of the game and we were able to put two more goals in. Hey, Maddie, um, you know, early on it was like really kind of a struggle. You know, I think first first 30 minutes it was kind of a little bit in the midfield, just kind of knocking it around, and and then you got a goal that that, that kind of got you guys started. But tell me, how, how did that how did that first 30 minutes feel for you guys? Yeah, you know, we knew it was going to be a tough game. We knew obviously the number two seed, so they were going to come out ready. You know, all the pressure was on them though, which I think helped us because we were the underdog, so we didn't really have the pressure on us. But there were obviously some nerves because. You know, if when we won that game, like now we're as far as Palmyra girls soccer ever got. So obviously we wanted to keep continuing our season. So there were some nerves, I think, but then we eventually settled down and got into the flow. Hey, um, tell me about the. What, what do you remember about the goal? I thought you. I thought you did a really good job of kind of shielding off a defender, and then you had the goalie come out and meet you, and you were able to get a buyer. But just how did you? How did you see the goal? Yeah, you know, Anna put an awesome ball in there, and basically all I had to do was run onto it, and there was a girl that was chasing me, but I was able to hold her off, and I mean, it was Anna's ball, basically, and all I had to do was finish it. Hey, and right, maybe maybe three minutes before that, I don't know if that was Kristen that sent you ahead. You, you had some, you had some space, but you, you just weren't able to get to uh, get to the ball. But then, the, the, you know, when you did three minutes later, you, you were you scored. Do you remember that earlier chance? Uh, was it on the goalie? Yeah, the goalie, the goalie came, kind of came out and, and just sort of it was really aggressive and just beat you to the ball. Yeah, I thought I might got might have gotten there, but I mean, after a few of the three balls got through, we knew that like that's basically how we had to score our goals. So then we just kept trying to find that, and uh, I mean, we it worked. Hey. Big goal early, early in the uh, in, in the in the second half. Uh, uh, Krista made a, a nice play, uh, and then uh, uh, Salvaggio was there to kind of get uh, get get the uh, get the rebound. But um, how important was that goal early on in the in the second half, just to kind of get you guys a two goal lead and, and get the momentum keep keep going, in, sort of in your in your favor. Yeah, I mean it was so important because the more cushion you have, the I don't know, the better it feels. So that early goal in the second half was really good to keep us going through the second half and kind of hold that lead. So yeah, it was really important. Maddie, you 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 referenced you referenced being as you know this this stage of the of the playoffs before, but is that the most important thing about tonight? Uh, just just keeping it going, just just you know not having your season end. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we want to go as far as we can, obviously, and. I mean, we don't want to stop now that we're this far. We just want to keep going. And I mean, the girls all love being together, so we really don't want the season to end. Hey, Maddie, I, one of the things I talked to Coach about was your, your schedule during the regular season. How much does that help you uh, playing those those bigger teams at, at this point of the year? Yeah, our schedule really helps us prepare for the postseason because, you know, we play Hershey and Lower Dauphin and McCansburg and all those big schools. And, I mean, Hershey and Lower Dauphin are the top seeds in the higher bracket. So playing them is getting us really prepared for the postseason, which obviously I think is really helpful. Because, I mean, the regular season, our record didn't really show like how we can play and then in the postseason here I think. Maddie you you're um you're you're a leader on this team. Um how much how much do the girls look to you? How much does coach look to you for, for leadership? Yeah, you know, I'm the only senior so that's kinda of my role is to kinda of lead the girls and keep pushing them and not let them slack and like, you know, keep them going. So I mean we all work together though, like everybody just pushes each other. So I mean it's a good combination of everything. Maddie, um Basketball or no basketball this year? Uh, right now, I'm thinking no basketball. <laughs> okay, I mean, is, it, is that something that's still up in the air, or, or you're, you're? It'll probably be a last-minute decision, but right now I'm leaning towards no basketball because you know I still have club soccer and I still have to prepare for college soccer. So right now I'm leaning towards no basketball. Is it is it difficult for you? Are you are you are you torn? Yeah, I'm torn. I mean, last year I was even torn. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to play if there was any chance I could play. So that's still kind of my thought process right now is if I can play, if there's any chance that I can do both, I'm going to try, but right now I'm not seeing how that Okay. Has, have you have you spoken to Coach Berman at all about it, or does he know where you are with the decision? Uh, right now, I think he knows where I am. You know, he sent me a letter with a fitness packet asking, <laughs> you know, trying to get me out there. But, that sounds like him. Yeah. yeah. We, but we've been in touch, and, you know, I love Coach Berman, so he definitely is a pool. Like, he's, he's helping to 
Oh, I'm sure. He's recruiting a little bit. He's doing a little bit of good recruiting, I, I, I'm sure. Hey, mate, listen, thanks so, mu thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Great job tonight. Uh, just keep going and, and keep, it, keep, keep, uh, keep working hard. All right, thank you.